everybody. Video here for you today. We're going to go down to Pavlo Petri in Greece. Been talking about some underwater ruins lately. Well, this fits right in. I know some of you may have heard of the ruins right off this little point here. But why don't we just talk about it? Yeah, right down here. Right down here is where the ruins are, right under this area, right here. We go over to this diagram here. The blue is the ancient shoreline. The red is the archaeological ruins that were found. So they spread all the way through from this point all the way out to this island here. Here you can see the old coastline went out to about here. And then the modern shoreline right here went underwater. Here is a look around. Full area here. Now I'm recording this in the morning and I will get this uploaded later today. I'm going to get outside, get active here for a while. But this website says Pablo Petri, the oldest submerged city in the world. Here's a look at some of the underwater ruins here. It says Pablo Petri off the coast of Laconia in southeastern Peloponnese is a submerged prehistoric town which consists of intact building foundation, courtyards, streets, graves, and rock cut tombs. It is the oldest complete town ever found underwater and probably the oldest town ever found in the Mediterranean to date at least. I will leave several links below. Here is a look just on land from where these ancient ruins are. It says 700 meters east of Ephelanos, there is a tiny island that the seabirds always visit. Its name is Pablo Petri, after which the whole surrounding area was named, where the remains of a sunken settlement are preserved. The beginning of its existence reaches as far back as 5,000 years into the past. I will leave a few links below. Here is a look at an ancient grave found beneath the waters here. When researchers first got here, they thought this place might be 3,600 years old. And they found out it was probably started around 3,000 B.C. And that is just the latest guesstimate. Research really got going here in about 2009. Did some virtual reconstructions of what these places might have looked like here. You can kind of tell from this pic the water isn't very deep where these ruins are. Here, I believe this is a home, family dwelling here. Here's what stonework 3,000 years under the sea looks like. See the line of it right here coming along. Here is an ancient pathway or trench here carved in the stone. And that just looks very ancient to me. Now, I also want to show you this. Is this just part of the ancient coastline? But you notice all the way along the coast here, there's like a double row. It's like a double wall that goes all the way along here. Is that is that a natural feature? I'm just not sure. But you can see it go all the way up to the archaeological site up there at the top. I did find one pick of that feature here, just off the coast, right underneath the water here. Is that natural or man-made? Eh, I'm not sure. Here's a look from the site. It says these runes are found in an average depth of 4 meters, which would be about what, a little under 15 feet. And it is believed to be the oldest submerged city in the Mediterranean. It says this dates back to about 3000 BC and includes roads, two-story houses with gardens, temples, a cemetery, and advanced water management systems with drains and water pipes. In the center of the city, there was a square with an area of 40 by 20 meters, a place for city discussions, and the buildings were majestic with up to 12 rooms inside. It says the design quality of the city has amazed the experienced urban planners who consider it superior to many of the modern ones. Here's a look at some more underwater ruins here. Pablo Petri is so old that it was already ancient during the era of heroes described by Homer in the Iliad, set during the Mycenaean period around 1600 BC. Although Pablo Petri has been known for a half a century, it was only in 2009 that in-depth studies were carried out that revealed that the area, about 9 hectares, was already inhabited by 2800 BC and that the city was swallowed by the sea during 1000 BC due to a series of three earthquakes that struck the area. Here are some more of the ruins and what they think these buildings may have looked like, and that's all up for speculation.
but it says the ruins of the city are today unfortunately threatened by the very beauty of the place itself. The island of Elefanos and the beach of Puda are in fact frequented both by tourists by land, sometimes hunting for souvenirs, and by various types of boats, which with their anchors put at risk the very integrity of the topography of the ruins. Here's another look, and you just kind of have to let your mind's eye do the work here, what we're seeing. But you wonder how old this place really is. It seems cities were built on top of older cities here. When was the first built? Well, that's a good question. I will leave the link to this website below. I thought it was really good. They have a video attached here. Some of their research work that these people did down here. Pretty fascinating site. Disappeared about 3,000 years ago under the water due to earthquakes. That is a video on Pavlo Petri. Kind of a weird formation there right off the coast. Underwater city that got going maybe 5,000 years ago. This is where it's located, right down here in the Mediterranean, southern tip of Greece. Thought that was cool. You all have a very safe day.